The ADARNA project, with first and foremost, ADARNA stands for Aerial Dynamic Assessment Robot for National Advancement. It's an eye in the sky with computer assistance to make it flyable by somebody who doesn't have a huge amount of experience flying a helicopter system. I think everybody can easily recall what happened in uh, what happened during Ondoy. And so it's a huge disaster. The government, you know, sort of this was the first time everything anything like that ever happened. So it's it's understandable that people were caught practically flat footed. So Hey, we have a disaster on our hands. What do we do? We send in the people to try to do the rescues. And then when the rescue crew tries to go to a certain place, whoops, there's no road. Can't go in because you didn't know that the road got washed out in the first place. Under such conditions where you don't have the information, going over there and being able to fly over the area and see what has happened is going to be your extra knowledge necessary to be able to gain uh, and, and take control of the situation. Adarna doesn't stop there. Uh, it, it's meant, or the first idea really is for disaster response, but it could be used for other things. Um, surveillance, uh, even for assessment of uh, the possibility of building roads. How easy or hard is it to be able to build a road in this area? You can fly the helicopter through that and get an idea of what it's like. So there, we think that there are a lot of possibilities for such a system. We believe when the, the, the technologies prove to be uh, at the point where it can actually help, then we're going to make this available really for, uh, the idea is to make it available for people to actually use. Yeah.